what do you see? Stand closer. You've got to get close. Closer. Too, too close. There. Now, let it spread out. Let it wrap its arms around you. Let it embrace you, filling even your peripheral vision so that nothing else exists or has ever existed or will ever exist. Let it do its work, but work with it. Meet it halfway, for God's sake. Let it embrace you, filling even your peripheral vision so that nothing else exists or has ever existed or will ever exist. Meet it halfway, for God's sake. Wait. What do you see? Be specific. No, be exact. Be exact but sensitive. Be kind. Do you understand? Be a human being. Be a human being for once in your life. These pictures deserve compassion and they live or die in the eyes of a sensitive viewer. They quicken only if the empathetic viewer will let them. That is what they cry out for. It's why they were made. It's now, tell me what you see. Red. Do you like it? Speak up. Yes. Of course you like it. <laughs> Everyone likes everything nowadays. They like the Snapchat and the TikTok and the Instagram. Everything becomes everything else and it's all nice and pretty and likable. Where's the discernment? Where's the arbitration that separates what I like from what I respect, what I deem worthy, what has, mm, listen to me now, significance? Maybe I'm just a dinosaur. Maybe I'm a dinosaur just sucking up all the oxygen from you cunning little mammals hiding in the bushes waiting to take over. Maybe I'm speaking some lost language unknown to your generation. But a generation that doesn't aspire to seriousness, that doesn't aspire to meaning, doesn't deserve to walk in the shadow of those who have come before, struggled before, those who have surmounted, those who have aspired. Like Turner, I mean Rembrandt. I'm talking Matisse, I'm talking, I obviously mean Rothko. Do you aspire? Yes. To what? To what do you aspire? Well, I'm a painter. So, so I guess I aspire to painting. Hmm. Then those clothes won't do. We work here. I appreciate you tried to wear your Sunday best to impress me. It's poignant, really, but ridiculous. This isn't some goddamn old world salon with tea cakes and lemonade. Roll your sleeves up. Sydney told you what I need here? You'll pick up my food and cigarettes and anything else I ask for, any whim, no matter how demanding or demeaning. If that is a problem with you, you can leave right now. Meaning, if you don't like that, leave right now. That's all I'm missing. Yes or no? Consider this. Not your rabbi, not your mother, not your teacher, not your friend. I am your employer. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> As my assistant, you'll see many things here. Many ingenious things, but you can't talk about any of it. They're all secret. Don't think I don't have enemies, because I do, and I'm not just talking about the gallery owners, the museum curators, or those goddamn son of a bitch art critics. <laughs> not to mention the vast panoply of disgruntled viewers who loathe me and my work because they don't have the heart, nor the patience or the capacity to think, to let alone understand, because they're not 
humans, like we talked about, you remember? I'm painting a series of murals now. I'll probably do 30 or 40 of them before I pick which one's best in concert, like a few. You'll help me put on the undercoat and I'll paint them and look at them and put another layer on. I really like layers, you know, building up the painting like a pentimento, just watching the luminance grow. How do you know when it's done? It's tragedy in every brush stroke. Ah. A drink? Yeah. Answer me a question. No cognition, no thinking, just answer. You ready? Yeah. Who's your favorite painter? Jackson Pollock. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. No, just ask me again. Oh, no, it's silly. Gosh, go ahead, come here. Who's your favorite painter? Picasso. Pollock. Always Pollock. Don't get me wrong, he's a great painter. I came up with him. I know him well. What was he like? You ever read Nietzsche? No. Nietzsche, the birth of tragedy. How can you call yourself an artist if you haven't read it? You can't discuss art without it. You can't discuss Pollock without it. You... What do they teach you in art school? I... Ah, have you ever read Freud? Uh... Mm, Young? No, but... Turgenev, Wordsworth, Schopenhauer, Shakespeare, Hamlet? Please, God, Hamlet, quote me Hamlet right now. To be or not to be, that is that the question? I don't actually know. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn. Because <laughs> 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 it looks like really close. <laughs> yeah, every Nietzsche is like a, a meme cut. That is so funny. Right, anyway. Do you want us to go somewhere else? This is not a good no. spot for no, this. No, it's, it's, an, it's a great It was spot. really funny. I just like saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Nietzsche. Right. All right. Okay, right back in.